Hey, happy new year. I mean, happy new year. 2023 is here. Ah, it's hard to believe, but today I thought we'd talk a little bit about, because I, I keep seeing so many house fires uh, and some real tragic situations, a lot of them caused from space heaters. So I just thought I'd review just a little bit of uh, about electrical systems and space heaters. First of all, these heaters right here, no matter if they're little pint-sized ones or, or bigger ones, they all produce the same amount of heat because that heat is, is coming from a 15 amp circuit, just a, your regular wall outlet. And so I think everybody knows, right? Everybody knows amps times volts equals watts. So 15 amps times 120 volts is 1800 watts. Well, these are 1500. So if you load, and I think most of us will agree, we only load our circuits at 80%, which is 1,440 watts. So you barely get this on one 15 amp circuit. So the thing about it is everyone thinks that this in the wall is, your, is a 15 amp circuit. No, a lot, most times in whether, you know, maybe not the kitchen, but in bedrooms, uh, family rooms, these circuits are all connected. That Christmas tree and this heater are now on the same circuit and eventually they will blow because that's an incandescent Christmas tree and that's too much amps. Now I know that a circuit breaker I have is 15 amp and it will blow. And that, uh, remember fuses and circuit breakers are there for your safety. So when you bypass them, and this is for people that, whether you live in a rental or a home that nobody's looked at the electrical system, you know, there's guys all the time, well, you know, if the, the breaker kept tripping, so I went ahead and put in a 20 amp. Well, by doing that, now you're allowing more electricity in on wire that's only designed for 15 amp. So you do need to, you know, if, if somebody they think has been monkeying around, even, even the old fuses, I bought a house last year that still had a fuse box. And you know, it's like, well, it's a 15 amp uh, fuse is what you should be using. Well, it keeps blowing. So I'm just gonna put in a 30. That's where you get into danger. You always hear about uh, extension cords on these heaters and everyone goes, well, I use an outdoor one. Only thing that makes it outdoors is because it's orange. It's OSHA orange. These are both the same. These are both 16 gauge wire. These are exactly the same. This one just is orange for outdoors. So be careful of that. Never use an extension cord. Try to keep it away from the wall. And I just would not, I, I would not, would, uh, I just wouldn't use it at night. I'd turn them off. These things have, they all have tip over switches on. Like this one right here is a little tip over switch, which, which will help. But I think most of them have, people always say, well, make sure you get one with a tip over. I'm not even sure if they're allowed to manufacture them without them. But you know what? They're not that expensive. So you think, well, what's the quality of those things? So please, please, please don't use them at night. If you're using your fireplace, remember if it's just wood burning, a lot of times it's just sucking more heat out of the, uh, of your home. So be careful with the heaters and when you can swing it, really look into that HVAC system because that's the best thing you can do for your home.